This is Nina. I will be starting a new series on the Downtown Podcast, and I will be interviewing people in the community, people who I think inspire so many others, like Charles over here. I absolutely loved him from the first time that I met him, and I'd like to get a little bit more insight on what inspires him and what he's up to. So if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Charles. If you don't know me, say hello. I'm very friendly. He is. And what do you do downtown? Well, uh, downtown I work for First Friday. It's a real passion. And um, it's basically a 20 to 30,000 person festival that uh, caters to the arts, food, music, culture, and drives communities together. So that's, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've been to First Friday. It's pretty cool. I love it. Um, Okay, so we're going to start off with our first question. What inspires you? Oh, God. I mean, waking up inspires me. Um, The Nevada sunset inspires me. Um, Bad days inspire me sometimes, although oftentimes not in that moment. Um, Just, yeah, I guess being alive, waking up, being able to be surrounded by so many amazing people that just humble me like every five seconds and um, passionate people. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I have That's never so No, that was actually amazing because my next question was going to be why it inspires you, but you're inspired by so many things and I'm actually curious why. Why am I inspired by so many things? Yeah. Well, I think I just was made that way, honestly. <laughs> I, I just, I think I, my eyes are just always open and wide to the world and pretty amazed by things that I don't have concepts of and other things that I do have concepts of. Mm-hmm. And it's just, let me tell you, sometimes it's hard being so passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we all have our obstacles that we face as well. What has been the biggest struggle that you've had to overcome? Um, probably the biggest struggle I've had to overcome is removing words like struggle from my vocabulary and rethinking how you frame that because Uh, It seems like every time I've struggled, there's always opportunities to grow and learn and be better at the next time. And the struggle the next time is a little less because you have tools or sometimes it's way worse and you really have to figure it out. And so, yeah, I would say try, but struggle, frustration, really remembering to remove those from the equation. Yeah. Cool. So I'm thinking like calling it a growth moment instead of struggle. What do you think about that? I think I love that. I love that term. Uh, some people would say hashtag sparkle magic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's one way. I mean, I'm constantly remembering because I obviously say try sometimes, but to uh, say it's an opportunity. Or oftentimes when you're struggling, it's the most important thing you can be doing. So. True. Yeah. Awesome. And um, one more thing. What is your message you want to give to the downtown Las Vegas area or just to, to anybody who's watching this podcast who is going after their dream? What what advice would you give them? Well, I generally am not a fan of advice. Um, I like anecdotes probably better. And the thought that comes to mind is that We're all just people, whether you're Oprah Winfrey or you're a meth addict up the street on Fremont East, which, you know, we're all just people. And removing judgment from the equation, being effective at telling your story, and um, believing in yourself and what you can do, because if Oprah can do it, what's stopping you? You know, if Richard Branson can do it, what's stopping you? And work really hard. I guess my message to downtown would be that the amount of love and community that surrounds us every day is so beyond hard to believe. It's like pinching yourself every day. So thanks to everyone. Awesome. Well, this is this has been a downtown podcast. And this is Charles again, hashtag sparkle magic. He is fabulous. I love him. And we First can all. LasVegas.com. There you go. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to leave with? Um, stay true to your weird self and stay where your feet are. <laughs>